first of all, I think Florida is by far the best team in the SEC. Um, and I would venture to say that they're probably playing better than anybody else in the nation at this point in time. Um, if they're the number one team in the nation and things like that, I think it's you know, uh, irregardless. But the most important thing is the way they're playing right now. I think they're playing better than anybody else in the nation. Um, I, I talked to our team about the fact that they have the best players in the SEC, the most talented players in the SEC, but their willingness to share the basketball is by far their best attribute. And um, our, our team needs to learn from that. You know, obviously, we don't have as good as players they have and uh, as many players as they have, but their willingness to share the basketball supersedes ours. And so um, right now, we're just, we're just a selfish basketball team. Um, and then on top of that, uh, we're not defending uh, the way we need to defend because we're so wrapped up in our offense. So. How would they have to shoot so well from three tonight? They're wide open. How'd they get that? It seemed like early you guys were focused on trying to stop Patrick Young. Do you think that kind of contributed to their open looks, or, or was it just something else? No, Patrick Young was not our focus, but like uh, our post guys let him catch the ball in the post that deep. And when a guy gets that deep in the post, you know, you have to help in some way, shape, or form. And so with, they have so many guys who are capable three-point shooters. So we either like foul our post guys out, which we only have one, you know, or we try to help him out in some way. And, uh, so the bottom line is our post guys got to do a better job of keeping the ball out of the post so we don't have to help. Seemed like you guys broke the press early, but then right after the press you guys took a lot of quick shots. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, you know, we all we talked to our team about was like limiting Florida's possessions. And the way you limit their possessions is like not taking quick shots or bad shots or turning the ball over. Um, so in, in our case, like I told our guys time and time again, like a bad shot is a turnover. Um, so between the bad shots and, and the turnovers, you know, we're not limiting Florida's possessions. The other way to limit Florida's possessions is, is get defensive rebounds. And anytime you give up an offensive rebound, then you're giving them another chance to score the basketball. So when you're playing against a team that's that, lit, that's that good, you have to figure out a way to limit their possessions. And I think our team, like, you know, takes a little bit of offense to that, that we want to slow the basketball down and limit their possessions. They take it as an offense like they're not good. But, like, when you're playing a good basketball team, you have to figure out a way to win. And our guys are more fig trying to figure out, like, how to score rather than trying to figure out a way to win. Well, as Billy said, the key to kind of stopping Jalen tonight was making him play off the bounce. Or did, did, what did you see out there? Yeah. Mm, I think he took some ill-advised shots. Rick, this sounds like the first time where you've basically said that these guys are fighting you on what you want, what you want out there, and what what you're doing. Is that more or less accurate? Um, I don't know if they're fighting. I just think that they're inexperienced at this point in time. So they've always had success doing things the way they've done them in high school and in the past. And you know, um, it's just like after the Arkansas game where we turned the ball over 29 times. You know, to me, like that's not a wake up call that you need to play a different way. You know, instead of trying to play fast, you know, we need to slow the basketball down because, you know, I didn't think that we turned the ball over against Arkansas because of the way they press. I just thought we turned it over against, you know, making simple basketball plays. And so in order to give ourselves a chance to win, you know, we've got to limit possessions and not turn the basketball over that way. Like we've seen Gavin in the last couple of games offensively, seems to be getting going a little bit. Well, I just think he needs to get more touches. You know, um, I, I told our team he was 3-3 three three in the first half. I mean, I, that ought to give you an indicator that, like, he probably needs to get more touches. I mean, he's the only person on the team shooting 100% from the field. You know, so, like, if if, I'm, if you're a smart person, that means, like, you need to give him the ball more. Um, so, and he needs to do a little bit better job of, of screening and getting the opportunity to get the ball to the post. But, you know, I, I just think if you're going to be a good basketball team, your focus is always going to be get the ball into the paint either passing it to the paint or driving it to the paint. And that's what Florida does such a good job about is they like they drive the ball into the paint or they get the ball in the paint to Patrick Young and they got so many guys who can shoot the basketball. Now you have to help and it just uh, you know it makes those guys better three point shooters because the ball is constantly in the paint by penetration or getting the ball to Young. How much did the boards just compound the problem, especially early on? It seemed like Murphy was doing a lot of a lot of digging in, in, in the paint. Well, I think they hurt us, you know, with, with uh, some offensive rebounds. But, like, the, the rebound, and I think, you know, they out-rebound us 44 to 20. But it's like, you know, they shot 64% in the second half, so you don't have as many defensive rebound opportunities for ourselves. 
and then right. we shot you know 32 percent from the field so obviously they're going to have more of a chance to get right. more rebounds so they did a good job on the boards but a lot of it has to do with shooting percentages